Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to diagnose and find out if your outer tie rods are bad or they are still good. Okay, if you hear noises from the front end, it could be it could be the sway bar links, it could be it could be tie rods, it could be almost anything. So we will show you how to diagnose it and see if the tie rods are actually bad. So what you need to do guys, you need to start the vehicle to have the power steering on. And as you can see we are going to move it now uh, left and right fast and you are going to hear a clicking sound now. That's the first step. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that one. And now I will show you, I will go through, through some bumps and uh, hopefully you will be able to hear it clicking. You, you see it's making that clunking, clunking sound. It's it's pretty distinctive okay it's especially little bumps it, it sounds terrible I don't know if you can feel it now we're going to go through some bumps here okay you can hear it just knocking okay more now so now we are going to stop the vehicle and we are going to show you how to find out if it's actually the tie rod or not. So stay with us and don't forget to subscribe guys, we have a new video on our channel every day. Alright guys, so what you, what you need to do, you need to jack the left and the right side of the vehicle up and we will demonstrate on one side only, okay? And you need to remove the tire, so you can diagnose the problem now, what's happening. And as you can see, the outer tie rod, the first thing that we notice, okay, that boot is busted. It means water, sand got inside of it and it's like a, it's like a sandpaper. So it starts grinding it and it probably has some play in it. And if you grab the, the disc now with two hands, okay, and start moving it, you're going to feel play in the tie rod right there. Oh yes, and if you grab it right here, you're going to feel the play with your hand. It's a, it's a little bit of a play at first, so... It's not that visible to show you on the camera, but you can hear the knocking. Okay, right there. And that's the play. You can, you can, you can just feel it, it's coming from there. So we will need to replace that tie rod and we recommend doing both of them. Not just one because it's a temporary deal and after you replace them, you will most likely need to go for a front end alignment because uh, if you don't get them right, if it's a different, a little bit shorter, longer tie rod, it might be visible to the to the eye that they're the same, but it might be a little bit of a difference, which could uh, which could mess up your front end alignment. So that's how you guys di diagnose it, and that's how you find out if it's a tie rod. Another another uh, very uh, possible thing is that sway bar link; those usually go bad. So always check those as well for uh, for breakage, or as you can see for play. This one is good; ours is good. Oh, okay, guys, and now let's show you the old one. Okay, you can see how bad that thing is. Okay, and let me show you how, how easy that thing moves. It has lots of play in it. And the new one, no matter what you do, it's really, really hard to move it. It's almost impossible, almost breaking your finger. That's how tight it is, and that's how it should be. So that's the whole procedure, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We have a new video on our channel every day.